Kerem Hassan Deeb has owned his bakery in South Lebanon for over 10 years. But nowadays, an acute wheat shortage has forced him to buy flour on the black market just to stay in business. They call me and tell me they have wheat, but for $600, so I'm forced to buy it at the price. This is the black market we have. Lebanon formerly purchased 90 percent of its wheat from Ukraine. Now unavailable, bakers say the conflict is a contributing factor to the rise in black market popularity. In Lebanon, there are 10,000 families whose work has stopped in the past 15 days, except us, who are buying flour from the black market. We have to do this because even if we don't make a profit, or even if we lose, there are workers and they have families. Black market bread sells for double or triple the official price, but given the devaluation of the local currency, the price is over 25 times the price of that of 2019. For people whose salaries haven't been adjusted, that means over $20 for a bag of bread. We're finding it hard to get bread in Abati. The last few days I had to buy it from the black market, 30,000 or 40,000 sometimes. It depends on the market, but I have to buy it. I don't have other choice. Almost 90% of the families have to buy from the black market because there's no other solution. Every day, the Lebanese people are living with anxiety. You sleep and you wake up the next day and you don't know if you can afford the bread, the food, the gas. We can't eat meat, we can't eat chicken, even food we can't bring home. The wheat shortage in Lebanon is multifaceted. The war in Ukraine has forced importers to find different and oftentimes more expensive suppliers. There's also the fact that the Beirut port explosion leveled the largest grain silos in the country. And of course, the elephant in the room, the country's ongoing economic crisis, which has forced more people to rely on bread than ever before and has simultaneously made it more difficult for the government to pay the bread subsidy. One of the most debated topics in the country is whether or not the government should lift the subsidy entirely, like they have other essential items. Because of the low price, it's created problems like smuggling, hoarding, and creating parallel markets for profiteering. I would say the government uh, doesn't have good choices to make. Uh, it's either uh, is forced to continue the subsidies in order to avoid an increase in, uh, in the prices of bread. On the other hand, if it lifts subsidies, which it plans to do eventually, uh, the prices will jump even more than they currently are elevated. Uh, and that will lead to more uh, social outcry uh, in the country. So, so the authorities are faced with two less than ideal choices. Gabriel says it's unifying exchange rates, structural reform, and restoring confidence in Lebanon that are urgently needed. But those things happening before the country sinks further into its wheat shortage is highly unlikely.